Hello friends, this is lesson 10 of Big Data Hadoop with Python. In today's lecture, we are going to cover the following topics. So first, uh, we have matrix addition, subtraction, multiplication, and we have transpose of the matrix. So the main purpose of these operations on matrices is nothing but the, the better understanding of mapper and reducer, the two main functions of map reduce model. So if you remember in previous example, we wrote a program for word count and there uh, we saw how the mapper was working and how the reducer was working. So for better understanding, today again I'm writing another program, uh, how to split the values from matrices and how to apply the mapper there and reducer. So let's start with the first topic. So the first topic is matrix addition and subtraction. And before uh, applying these two operations, let's first understand what is matrix itself. So matrix is a two-dimensional array. We have two types of arrays. If you are good in programming, then uh, the first type is called single, or it is called linear array, or it is called uh, one-dimensional array. And the second type is called multi-dimensional array. So it is, since it has two-dimensional, it is uh, nothing but multi-dimensional array. Uh, where the elements are stored in the form of rows and columns, right? So we have rows and columns. When we talk about rows and columns, so you will understand something about relational databases because in relational databases we have tables and the values are stored in the form of rows and columns. So that concept is also implemented here. Now let's see here for better understanding. Uh, suppose we are having two matrices here. So matrix A and matrix B, it is two into two means it has two elements or values. This one is also two into two. It is having how many elements? Four elements and it is also called as a square matrix. Now, let's see if you are storing the values of this matrix in a relational database or in a database or we can say in a table, since table is collection of rows and columns, it will be represented like this one. So since it is a two-dimensional array, the index for the first element is 0, 0 here. X is 0 and Y is also 0. If you come to this one here, we have 0, 1. X is 0, Y is changed to 1. If we have the third element, then it becomes 0, 2. So since we have two into two elements, so for this one, the X value will change to 1, 0. And this one is 1, 1. So the same uh, procedure is applied here also. Now we have 0, 0 and in 0, 0, 0 row and 0 column we have the value A and 0, 1 we have the value B and 1, 0 we have C and 1, 1 we have D. So the same uh, procedure will be applied for this one also to store it in a table. But if you are using a data set, so there it will be represented in this form. The values are separated by comma. So A, this one is the name of my matrix, A and B, and these are nothing but the indexes, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, like that. So these are nothing but the values. So we, ha <coughs> we have the matrix, we have the values, and we have the indexes, right? Now let's see, how can we multiply these two matrices? So for multiplication, addition is very simple, friends. Just the first element of first matrix will be added with the first element of the second matrix. That the second element of the first matrix will be added to the second element of the second matrix. The same procedure will be applied for all the elements and we will get the result. Subtraction is also the same, just the plus sign will be changed to minus sign. But in multiplication, the procedure is different. Because here the first row of matrix 1 will be multiplied with the first column of matrix B and then they will be added. So A into E plus B into G. So for all the elements, again if you want to count this one, so A into F plus B into H. And this is the second element and the result matrix. So it will be done like this one by one the values will be multiplied and then they will be added right so this is a procedure how we can add and how we can mm, subtract multiply and transpose transpose mean changing the rows into columns and columns into rows that is called the transpose of a matrix 
Now the, the concept is here friends, how can now we change, this is the matrix, into keys and values because in mapper we have key and value, uh, what should be the key here and what should be the value? So here we will consider the name of matrix as a key, indexes plus the values as value. So we have keys and values, matrix name is considered as key, indexes plus value will be considered as value, then it is split it into key and values, then we can further apply the other operations like addition, subtraction, all of them. So for that, I have already written the program here, this is the mapper, I will take the copy, uh, let me open the terminal first. Okay, so I will switch to my switch uh, HD user. So this is the password one, two, three, and then I will come to the root directory and see change the directory to home directory, home of HD. So here we have these are the programs what we wrote in previous lecture: the mapper forward count, and this one was the reducer forward count, and this is the result what we downloaded from Hadoop environment, right? And this was the input if you remember we uploaded to Hadoop cluster. Now today <coughs> first I will create a new directory make a dir and I will give the name as matrix. So ls here the new directory is created I will first connect to my new directory I say matrix matrix right ls there is nothing it is empty before uh, writing the mapper program first it is important to upload the file which is called the matrix so the file is on the desktop i take the copy cp and then i will go to the home directory of bit one and there we have desktop and desktop we have something called matrix that is a file you upload this file to the home directory of hd user and then we created a folder there or a directory called matrix. Now I have the file here, right? This is the file. Let us see the contents. I will say, okay, cat matrix. Yeah, this is the first matrix and this is the second matrix and there is a space between the two. So here, these are the values. These are the values of second matrix and this is the name of first ma matrix and this, this is the name of the second matrix and these are nothing but the indexes, right? And they are splitted by comma. Since it is in the form of data set, not in the form of table, they are separated by uh, comma, right? We have two matrices, matrix A and matrix B. Now I will create my first program, which is called uh, mapper. I say sudo g edit, and then I say mapper, right? py it is asking for the password okay now i will take the copy and then i will explain it here for you okay let's see how it is working friends so this is the path for the python and this is the comment it is just name given for mapper.py and this is uh, the library system from which we are using the standard input and standard output so first we will split uh, sorry strip if there is uh, space between the lines if you remember here there is space between the line so first i will remove the space so that will be removed and then since we are reading the values they are splitted by comma so i say yeah the values are splitted by comma you see here the values are yeah they are separated by comma uh, so you split the values by comma and all the values are stored in this entry this is a variable entry but from entry i will take the first value means zero index if you say zero index i mean this one so what is this so this is nothing but the name of my matrix and that is considered as key again it comes here it will be taking b and b is also considered as key the remaining these things as i told you before indexes plus the values they are all considered as value because here we need to split the values into key and value this is the main purpose of mapper because mapper is just splitting the values into key 
and values so what are the key the keys are nothing but the name of matrix and the values are nothing but indexes plus the value I'm starting from 1 not 0 because 0 is already taken here it is considered as a key so you start from it is like a comma 0 0 and we have 10 value here so this one is considered as a key here it is stored now you start from 1 so 1 means from this one and all these values are considered as value right then I will check if it is key is equal to a since uh, we have two matrices a and b if key is equal to a then you print all the elements in keys of matrix a if it is equal to b then again you print all the keys and values or the b matrix so this is the mapper how it is working i will save and close it now i will create another file for reducer sudo g date i say reducer dot py right i will take the copy of the reducer program here it is control c and here i will paste it save it okay let's see here how this one is working friends so this is the path and this is the name this is standard import again it is checking if there is space between the lines that will be removed and then it is splitting the values the key in values with tab here what is this tab friends if you remember here see in the mapper we split it here whenever we are printing since the output of the mapper is nothing but the input for the reducer so here the key is split by tab from the value right that is why we see here the values are split by tab the key is split from value through the tab and then what will happen the remaining values if you remember a 0 0 and that was 10 so these are all considered as value and this one is key so that is why I say value again they are split by comma yeah they are split by comma again I say if this one is equal to a if key is equal to a because we are storing in key the name of matrix if that is equal to a what will happen we will be storing the values within the first set so this is set a and we have set b so what will happen i'm starting from one index so this is one index this is zero i'm not taking this because this is the key i'm taking this one one and this is two so one two that will be considered as index what is three three is considered as value for that is equal to this one again if it is equal to b the same you just use first index second index and here the value and then what we'll do it is simple operation mathematics uh, we are just multiplying since it is 3 into 3 matrix here it was 3 into 3 9 elements are there in matrix a and 9 elements we have in matrix b uh, we are starting from 0 to 3 0 to 3 0 to 3 and then we are uh, taking the row of first uh, matrix and multiply it with the column of second matrix and the result is also added and considered as the element of first uh, matrix and the result matrix and then i have printed the values here the indexes and then the result the value right i will store it and then close it now let's see here how to execute the program locally and then we'll run the program on hadoop cluster so how can we run this here if you remember we were using cat this is the matrix the name and then pipeline i say python is here I, I will apply the mapper first so this is the result it is reading and scraping or removing the space there was in between so they are keys and these are all considered as values now the same i will say sort and then i will apply here the reducer python and then we have reducer yeah and reducer i didn't remove that we created this we have to remove save 
close it yeah yeah it is multiplying the values so in 0 0 index we have 300 the result is 300 it is multiplied 0 1 1 0 2 again 1 0 1 1 1 2 2 0 since it is 3 into 3 it is a square matrix and this is the result of the multiplication of two matrices if you are multiplying this you multiply it manually then you will be getting the same result as it is shown here right this is the result matrix now how can we apply this the other operations like addition subtraction it is very simple you just go to reduce reference here this is reducer uh, here I will remove this because no need of third loop only two loops are required and then uh, what I will say I will remove this one also we have I in J matrix A and then instead of the star you put plus sign here and then again we have I in J and you print the values this much only so it will show the let me first uh, see the matrix mat okay this is the matrix and then I will apply the mapper in reducer so the first element is added it was 10 here we have 10 and 1 that is 11 we have 20 in 2 that is this much 22 we have 30 plus 3 and that is 33 so all the values are added like this if you want to subtract it very simple you just change the sign from plus to minus here we'll close and this time the values are changed to 9 18 like that but if you want to find the transpose of the matrix what will you do you just change the rows into columns and that time we only need a single matrix because we are uh, taking I'm not uh, using result is not required so I will re remove this in here what I will say I will take the first matrix what is the first matrix it is a in here I will change J and I rows into columns and columns into row so these things are not required then you can remove them so I save it then close it here and now I will run yeah the values are changed from rows let me print uh, the matrix and you can better understand matrix so if you go to matrix A so this is matrix A right here we have 10 20 30 this is the first row and this is the second row so that is converted to 10 40 this one and how much 70 this becomes the first row the columns are converted to rows and the rows are converted to columns so that is the transpose but this we run locally prints if you want to run it on Hadoop environment how can we do it before that let's see whether the services are running or not now the services are off how to start the services you just use star slash all dot sh first we have to run all the services I mean yarn services and HDFS services like name node data on or secondary name node and we have resource manager and data manager so those services are required it will be running in the backend and then we can apply the mapper and reducer on Hadoop cluster now if I write GPS yeah the services are running it is ready let's go to see Hadoop FS and then if you remember I was using less user and there we have something called HD user and these were the directories we created in previous lectures friends this is the input and this was the output and I downloaded the output from there now today what we'll do I will create uh, first I will upload the file the matrix how can we upload I will say Hadoop FS and we were using a command called port okay I will say matrix this I'm going to upload here user and there we have something called HD user any directory you can upload but I'm uploading to the same directory so the file will be uploaded now let me see whether it is uploaded or not yeah the matrix is there it is uploaded now how can we run the program so let me clear the screen if you remember we were using Hadoop FS 
and then sorry not if is jar file we have to first upload and that is in user then we have uh, local Hadoop was there and then we had share and then again Hadoop tools then lab and then we have Hadoop and here you have to use this this is important one this we have to first find the full path and then backslash I put we have to mention where is the mapper so I say file where is the mapper it is on home of HD user and there is a matrix uh, folder and within that we have something called map you take that what is the name uh, mapper the name is also map right where is the reducer reducer is in the same directory home then we have HD then we have matrix and then we have a uh, reducer right and the name is also a reducer and then backslash enter where is the input I say the input is on user you go to HDFS cluster we are Hadoop cluster and then we have HD user and from HD user there is a file called matrix.txt you take that as input and where you want to store the output the output I will be storing in the same directory so user HD user so I will create a folder called output one because output is also there I will one directory was there in previous lecture we created output one so I say sorry output and now I say output one the second directory I'm going to create just run the program here it is running and showing us how the mapper and reducers are performing here it is 0, 0, mapper is 0, reducer is also 0. So let me see. Yeah, mapper completed its function. And uh, then now it is time for reducer. Reducer is also completed 100%. So you see here, mapper 100%. Uh, where is that? We have the yeah mapper is 100 percent reducer is also 100 percent the job is completed successfully and here if you come to the last uh, point here it is showing the output directory the result is stored in output one how can we see the result hadoop fs ls then i will go to user and then we have hd user and there we have something called output one yeah the output is created now how can we read the output support then followed by five zeros and instead of list we just put cut here yeah this is the result zero zero the values are transposed it is run on Hadoop cluster if you want to download the uh, result to home directory how can any directory you can download so for that you have to use Hadoop FS then instead of put you have to use get and here you say user hd user and then we have output one and there we have something called port one no, sorry port followed by zero zero five zeros where we want we want to bring it to home directory and home directory we have hd user and hd user we created a folder called matrix you download the file there now if i use ls the output is downloaded here if i cut use cut and port here you can see the output also if you open the browser if you remember there also we can see the output and download it from there you can use and download the file from there also now let me go to localhost here and here you come to utilities here and then we have uh, user and then you go to hd user in hd user we have output and output one this one is the result if you click on that so this is the output you can download it from here and see the result also let me close this uh, and here at the end you have to stop the services stop uh, 
slash all dot sh they all will be stopped so the main purpose of this tutorial was to understand better the function of mapper and reducer how can we apply the mapper in reducer how can we split the values into uh, keys and values split the data I mean big data into keys and values. that is a function of mapper so then we can apply the reducer for doing any operation as we did here addition subtraction multiplication of the matrices so all the services are stopping now if I use GPS the services are stop then I will say exit exit and now yeah friends I hope you understood all these things about map reduce two main functions mapper and reducer so thank you for